when you buy the Vasco Translator M3, these are the items you will get in the box. You have yourself the M3 device at the top. Underneath, you can open up for more items. You have yourself the USB-C charging cable. You have a rubber silicone lanyard strap. Depending on which country you buy the device from, you will get either the UK or the EU or US charger. You also have a clear case for the Vasco Translator M3. Then you have the user manual and safety information booklets. The device itself is a touchscreen device. To run through all of the buttons on the side, on the left hand side you have yourself the SIM card tray there. Just below that you have the volume buttons, you have the plus and the minus. On the right hand side you have the power button and the back button. The power button you have to press that for a few seconds to turn on the device. On the top you have a microphone port. On the bottom you have a headphone input, a second microphone, a USB-C charging port and a lanyard hold for the wrist strap. On the back of the device you have yourself the loudspeaker there, a flashlight and a camera. On the front of the device you have two buttons, this is the speech recognition button 1 and speech recognition button 2. Let's turn on the device by holding down the power button for 3 seconds. Now you will see the lock screen, you can swipe up to unlock. To turn the device onto standby mode, you just press the power button once, it will go into standby so you will be able to have it ready to use anytime you need. To bring it back from standby, you simply press the power button once and then you swipe up. You can use the volume buttons on the left hand side to reduce the volume as you like. If you go into an application, you can use the back button to go back to where you was before. To power off the device, you hold down the power button for 2 seconds and then you get an option to power off or reboot the device. You can select power off and it will shut down.